This is Hamlet, the zesty bipolar Prince of Mars Mars. This is Polonius, the Lord of Twix and father of Laertes and Ophelia. This is Ophelia, the stationary. This is Claudius, the dim-witted, newly instated president of Mars Mars after the death of his brother. This is Gertrude, the mother of Hamlet and the first lady of Mars Mars. This is Horatio, Hamlet's friend and comrade. And I am Marcellus. Ugh. I am dead dude Hamlet, the former president of Mars Mars. I am Laertes, son of Polonius and brother of Ophelia. The dimwit. I just happen to be an avid computer hardware engineer in my spare time. Marcellus, take me two more feet so I can have a closer look at this. Yeah, so we were, boss, we were just fishing through, uh, and sorting all of the peanut M&Ms from the minis, and we found this weird little thing in the mix. We didn't know what to make of it, so we thought maybe you would know, boss. Hmm, let me see this. Ah, uh, yes. Due, my, due to my extensive training, this appears to be a flash drive. And according to the words, this is for Hamlet, director of the M&M's portion of the company, Prince of Mars Bars. I would say it's for my boss, Hamlet. You two have done very well. Make sure you get a raise next week. Now, yes, Marcellus, slave, take me to the car. We have a flash drive to deliver. Yes, last time. My dear friends, we are facing a major crisis, and so soon after the death of our beloved President Hamlet. But I have decided to take charge of it, along with my new wife, who needed the comfort only a Snickers could offer her. <coughs> As you may know, there are rumors that Google is entering the chocolate industry. <gasps> yes, I have decided to send Laertes of the Twix department to check up on these rumors. Polonius, as Lord of the Twix Department, I must ask your permission, and you must be willing as well, Laertes. Why, of course. He definitely has my permission. Good. Polonius. Yes. yes, my son. I would like to return to Harvard to continue my studies in biomolecular engineering. Ha <laughs> Don't be a fool. Why would you want to do that when you can stay here and make M&Ms instead? No, son, you're staying here. I agree. You need some time to get to know your new father. Okay. All right, everyone. Let's go. <sighs> it's absolutely revolting. Hamlet, my good friend. I found this, and I believe you should take a look at it. I think it's from your rotting father. How do you know? Well, I looked at it, and it's him talking, and I believe it's addressed to you. Well then, we must find a computer to watch it on, and quickly. Slave, forward! Goodbye, brother. Bye, Sean. See you in a few months. Well, I've heard there's rec that there was something between you and this Hamlet from M&M's, and I can't say I approve. I won't deny it. Um, I want you to cut it off, whereas I always say, M&M's stand for moody and malevolent, and I won't have it. Okay.
Wait. Are you sure you want to do this? Well, I might as well. This video is for your eyes only, son. I can't be watched by anyone else except for you. If you're watching this, then right now, you need to enter the secret code. If it's not entered, this message will self-destruct. Son, that was an exaggeration. It would actually have just said, re-enter the information. Well, it's a good method for filtering viewers, okay? Moving on. So, if you're watching this, then I'm dead. And your Uncle Claudius has been plotting against me this whole time. I suspect he may have bribed your mother with lint chocolate, okay? Lint. That's big. Okay, but don't blame her, because let's be frank, who can resist that kind of an offer? I mean, that's amazing. So, just don't get too much after her, no. Get after your uncle, okay? He's the one to blame. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take down your uncle. And by uncle, I mean Claudius, okay? This guy, horrible. In a way, as epic as possible, there's a complimentary trench coat and some sunglasses upstairs. Exploding would be pretty, you know, the best way to do it. But another way would be an awesome villain beating speech. Okay? Shutting down in three, two, one. Ronaldo, slave, come here. I needed some, you to do something for me. What do you need, master? Well, I need you to go to Google and check on my son Laertes. You need to make sure that he's not getting into trouble, doing everything he's supposed to do. You know, getting their secrets, making sure their chocolate's not as good as ours, their secret recipes. All right, I want all the gossip on him, go. Yes, sir, goodbye, sir. Dad, I'm so scared. Mm, what's wrong? I just ran into Hamlet and he's acting really strange. Mm, strange as in like Wicked Witch of the West strange or strange as in like Pee Wee Herman strange? No, but he, he was just, he was looking at me weird and I think he's gone mad. Nah, uh, he must be loved to for you. No, I've been ignoring his texts and avoiding him just like you told me to. Mm, yes, you see, that's what's made him mad. Now, come, let's go tell his uncle the king. He will know about this. Have you heard what has happened to poor Hamlet? Ever since his father died, he's not been the same. But you are some of his best childhood friends. I would like you to try and visit him to cheer him up a little bit. You have both been good friends to my son, and I would really like it if you would help us figure out what is wrong with him. I will be glad to help any way I can. And so will I. Behold, I have found the reason for Hamlet's madness. You have? Yes, he is madly in love with my daughter Ophelia. <laughs> Are you sure? I am positive. I brought a letter from it. Here, read the rants of a lovesick mind. No doubt. He is mad. I'm not so sure about this. I can prove it. <laughs> I didn't watch while I questioned. Do you know me? Oh yes, you're the old fisherman. No, actually. Do you have a daughter? Um, I do. Then hide her away. Okay, why is that? Words, words, words. What's the matter? I'm just asking a question. The matter? Between who? Lies. Old men have gray hair and wrinkles. Like you. If you could age backwards, you'd be like you'd be my age. Well, after that insulting rant, goodbye. 
Fools, fools, fools. Hamlet! It's been a long time. My friends, how are you good lads? Good. Who brings you to Denmark? Just to see you, Hamlet. Oh, really? Of course. Come, come, don't lie to me. You were sent for, weren't you? Okay, we were. I will tell you why. I have not been myself lately. My parents worry. I don't seem to find pleasure in anything. Well, how about some entertainment? Yeah, we just passed a group of actors on their way to entertain your uncle. Oh, I have an idea. Ah, uh, here they come. Excuse me, my friends. I must prepare entertainment for the president. My friends, my friends. Let us prepare a play for the president. <laughs> We will act out a murder of a king. I will instruct you on the details. This play will reveal with my with this play, my uncle's guilty conscience will reveal him. We were sent for Hamlet so we can come here and accidentally run into Ophelia. Meanwhile, Polonius and I will be hiding like secret agents. And when they come by and they have their little exchange, we'll be able to see if Hamlet is madly in love with her. But in order for this to work, you need to go away. Of course, my dear. Thank you. Goodbye. Alright, Ophelia, you over here with me. I need you to sit in this chair and wait for Hamlet. And while you're at it, read the Bible. Because with the appearance of innocence and prayer, it's easy to overlook the wrongs that are going on. It's true what he says doesn't chocolate coat the lies I've been telling to myself and everyone else. Oh, what a burden! Wait! Listen to the silence! I can hear him coming! Get off of your back! To be or not to be? That is the question. Is it better to hold in in my suffering and fight and end suffering? When we embrace death, we end the years of suffering and heartache that men face. Oh, but after death, there may be more. And that is the dilemma. What will happen if, to me if I die? That is, what stops people from taking this path no suicide and continuing to lead a long, hard life? This is what makes us put up with unhappiness for such a long time. Who bears the torture of time is oppressed and treated with contempt. The hurt of love is not reciprocated. Laws delay, contemptuous superiors, and this ridicule of unworthy people takes so patiently when he is calling it quits with a dagger. Who would continue to carry a burden during this dismal life unless they fear that there is fear there is something much worse than death that nobody knows and can't come back from? So if we continue our suffering and rather than wandering into the unknown, our app apprehension makes us cow make cowards of us all. The more we think about our end, the less likely we are to go through with it. And all the great plans we had for death and suicide before we get stuck inside, never to be acted upon. <laughs> but wait, beautiful Ophelia, I did not know you were there. Do you think bad of me? Of course not. How are you doing? I am well, thank you. Look, Hamlet, remember when you told me you loved me? Well, I feel the same, and I wish to tell you. Wait, I said, I said no such thing to you. Oh, but Hamlet, you did, and barely, sweetly, too. But why are you taking them back? You are honest, but vain. You think you are beautiful. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> beauty and honesty go hand in hand, do they not, Hamlet? Yes, because beauty transforms honesty from Twix to dark chocolate Hershey's bun, uh, to, to a dark chocolate Hershey's bunny. <gasps> I used to love you. Yes, and I believed you, but I was deceived. Then go become a nun. Why would you only have children that worked for Hershey's? Yet I wish I didn't have to deal with this pain. If you do marry, I will curse it, and you will, yeah, and you will never taste Mars, bar, Mars chocolate again. Oh, Mars bars fix him. I have heard that you two faced. I have heard that you two faced. Read, reading your Bible one moment and then trying to stoop me the next. I'm done. Go to the nunnery. Go. He has lost his mind, and it's all my fault. Oh, you're supposed to storm out. Oh. 
<laughs> well, uh, it sounds like he's not in love with her. I don't know why he would be, but um, <laughs> he's not crazy either. So he's probably just depressed. This is a very small town. Oh, I think a change of scenery will do him good. Uh, I agree, I think it will. Uh, I think then that oh. I shall send him uh, to the uh, Snickers plant for a change of scenery. Oh, I agree, but we should wait till after the play, then have Gertrude talk to him, and then we'll send him off to Snickers. Sounds good. Oh. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Please do the scene as exactly as I wrote. Use the right tone to permit the presentation. It has to be perfect for the parts. Some of you actors do not necessarily portray it the right way, you have to be background characters. Okay, Hammett, we'll try. Let us show the true nature of people. This play will make the unwary laugh, but those with guilty conscience will suffer. Go get ready then. Does Claudius want to watch the play then? Indeed, and so does your mother. Then go tell the players to hurry. As you wish. Oh. Ah, Horatio, just the man I want to see. About what? About the play. I want you to watch Claudius during it and see if he shows any signs of guilt. I will watch them to see if they look guilty. Um, now shut up. The actors are ready. Okay. Hamlet, how are you, my son? Excellent. I breathe air. This tells me nothing. You were once an actor? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed I was. And a pretty good one, too, if I do say so myself. Who did you play? I was Julius Caesar. Killed by Brutus. Oh, he was a brute to kill such a great man. Mm. Are the actors ready? Yeah, they're ready whenever you are. Hamlet, come sit by me. No, thanks. I'd rather sit next to this beauty. <clears throat> May I lay an arm on you? Excuse me? May I put my arm around you? No, thank you. It's a nice thought to be a little older woman. Pardon? Oh, nothing. You're acting happy today, sir. Of course. Amidst the chaos of life, what else is, to, is there to be? I mean, to look at my mother who's in Claudius's arms. Look how happy she made herself two hours after the death of my fa father. Bum, ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. So what I need you to do, I need you to go and kill the king. But you're gonna go, you're gonna go in and stab him. He's gonna stab, 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 stab. All right, and then it'll be good. All right, so okay. And so I'll go in and go and kick the king, and then it'll be stab, stab, stab. And then we're gonna go have party ever after. Yeah. 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 Did you see that? Oh yes, he's obviously guilty. I can see it in his eyes. Hamlet, your mother wants to see you. Okay. Well, I told him to come, so he will come. And make sure you're very blunt. <gasps> Listen to the silence! He's coming! Hurry, quick, hide! Did you or did you not assist in killing my father? I will have no more.
You should be ashamed of yourself. What's wrong with you? You look very depressed. Is it something to do with Hamlet? Where is he? <sighs> could, could you leave, please? You're not really welcome here. Right. Thank Shh. you. <sighs> yeah, in indeed, I'm depressed. I've seen some very unfortunate things tonight. Mm. Is it to do with Hamlet? Again, where is he? He, he's gone bonk bonkers, mad, just completely off the wall, crazy. He's gone so far as to kill Polonius while, well, while he was spying on us. I mean, who does that? That's it. I knew we should have had him locked up. Now for the third time, where is he? Well, he's a, he's a hide in the body. <laughs> Mm. Well, that settles it. I'll send the text now. He's going to the Hershey factory and he's not coming back. Okay, you need to go find Hamlet and convince him to bring the body to the chapel. Snap, snap, let's go. I hope this doesn't look bad on me. Whew. That guy was heavy. But now, he's hidden. Hamlet! And here come the stalkers. Hello, my friend. Can you tell us where the body is? Um, it's turning into dust. I'm sorry, you guys are real suckers of the president. Whatever, just tell us where the body is. Uh, no. Take me to the president. Well, now I really have a conundrum on my hands. I need to demote Hamlet, but he's so popular with the employees that I'll have a revolt on my hands. And everybody knows that World Without Chocolate is indeed a sad one. Ah, Guildenstern. Did you get Hamlet to tell you where the body is? Well, he's not really talking about that. But we did everything else he sent us to do. <laughs> That's the only thing I sent you to do. Right. Where is he now? Hamlet, not the dead body. He's waiting to talk to you. Well then, bring him in! Hello, son. My, my favorite criminal. Where have you hidden the body? Ah, it's dying with the worms. Well, where's he eating at? In heaven. We'll have to go die in a hole to beat him. Oh, oh I Okay, guess. I'll tell you where. He's in the lobby. Thank you, thank you. W will you please go and get the, the body? Please go get the body. Yes, thank you. Well, sadly, my son, I think I'm going to have to send you on a business trip to let you cool down. You're going to Hershey's. To Hershey's? To Hershey's. All right, I'll see you when I get back. Yes, you will. But what he doesn't know is that I'm texting the president of Hershey's right now, saying that if he doesn't want me to run him out of business, he'll have Hamlet dead by the end of the week. I won't be happy until he's dead. Captain, go tell the president of Mars Mars that we'll be passing through his land. Yes, sir. Hello. Whose army is this? General Fortinbras. Yeah! Where are you attacking? Some small little plot in Poland. Well, why do you need an army there? They probably won't even defend it. They actually have a garrison there stationed already. That's interesting. Well, I'd be, uh, better be on my way. Yes. This Fortinbras is interesting. He leads a force of 20,000 nerds into battle they will most certainly lose. And all for a piece of barren land. But I can use this as an example for my revenge. They go forth, knowing they will certain knowing of their peril, but yes, no more waiting. I will take my revenge. Gertrude, Ophelia's gone mad. She gets violent at the smallest things, and her gestures don't match her words. Bring it to me then. 
Oh, my guilt, everything that happens. I'm just so sick. It feels like uh, something, someone will find out what happened. Did you know that the owl is the baker's daughter? <laughs> what is wrong with her? How long has she been like this? Good night! She must be mad because of her father's death. And what's worse is that Laertes is now coming here and he's angry because his father is dead now and he's going to blame it on me. Oh, father. Wrong, Mr. President. Laertes is leading a strike over your managers and the workers are all shouting, Laertes for president. They're coming, I can hear them. We can't get out. They are coming. Where is he? President, you fiend. Where's my father? Well, the thing is... Well, uh, remember, we are all friends here. Let's, let's be calm. Friends? Calm? How can I be calm at a time like this? Why are you so angry, Laertes? Where's my father? Well, he's dead. But, but he, the president didn't kill him. Then who killed him? Murderers? You fiend. Go burn in the darkest pits of Mordor. Would you even be willing to kill your friends over this, Laertes? If they killed my father, they're not my friends. They're my enemies. Everyone sing with me. Oh, she's crazy. Here's a flower for you, and a flower for you, oh, thank you. and one for you. Oh, no. She's hallucinating. Just remember what did this to her. I will help you get your vengeance, Laertes. Arrgh! Serve me timber, sir! I've got a letter here for you. Oh, I thank you. You're welcome, sir. Oh, what is this? Oh, yes. Arrgh. It's from Hamlet. Hmm, I have boarded a FedEx semi, and they have brought me back to Mars Bars. Rules and Kratz and Gildestone are still on their way to Hershey's. Come and find me as quickly as possible because I have a lot to tell you. Great! Marcelo, slave! Quickly, I need to find Hamlet as fast as possible! I hope we have decided that I am innocent in your father's death, Laertes. I guess so, but I'm just wondering why you did not persecute Hamlet. Well, for two reasons. First is because his mother loves him. Which is odd when you think about it. But second of all, it's because the employees, they also love him. We're pretty much the only guys that don't love him. Great. So I have a dead father and a mad sister, and Hamlet is getting off scot-free. Until I showed up, at least. Mr. President, I have a letter from you. It's from Hamlet. Thank you. It says, Dear Mr. President, I have returned to Mars Bars, and tomorrow I will be asking for an audience with you to explain how I managed to come back. Hamlet. Good. I'll be ready for it when it comes. If I help you kill Hamlet, can I maybe still please be president? Yeah, sure, whatever. As long as I get to kill him. There it is. Did you love your father? Uh, duh. I, I was just wondering, how far would you go to avenge him? I would kill him in a chapel. That, that's a, that's a bit, uh, out there. How, how about we do it in a duel instead? Okay, but I'm poisoning my blade. Sounds good. I'll have a bottle of poison gaming to give him if he gets tired. Ophelia drowned! Who, what, what, how, when? She was trying to drown her sorrows in a vat of chocolate. And she just jumped in. I shall prepare for my vengeance. Well, now look what you've done. I just got them all calmed down and I was all riled up again. Let's follow and see what trouble he gets into. Yeah. Well, I heard.
heard of people drowning their sorrows in chocolate, but this takes to a whole new level. What'd she do? Drink the whole bottle? Nah, she actually drowned in it, but I was gonna give her an idiot <laughs> burial. Except the first lady had different plans. Well, what she says goes around these parts. Do I really have to dig here? Well, you can dig somewhere else unless you can answer this riddle. Watch as roots and no one sees. It's taller than trees. Goes up, 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 but never grows. Hmm. Is it your ego? Fine, you can stay here. Yeah! Do you have any idea how bad it smells in the back of those trucks? I'm sorry, there's a whole bunch of trucks. It took forever to find the right one. Hey, what's this dude doing? Digging a grave! None school was it look like. Whose grave is this? I don't know. Someone from the Twix plant. Oh, sleep. Take me over there so I can look at that candy wrapper. Oh yes, it's interesting how the things we most highly esteem end up in the dirt. This was once eaten by kings, and now is the blankets for homeless people. Which metaphorically is moving. Uh, hey. hey, look, here comes some people. Hey. Oh my, I can't believe it. I thought one day you would make a very weird and disagreeable daughter I would always argue with. And criticize, but I guess it just wasn't meant to be. I'm very sorry, Laertes. This sucks. But remember, it's all Hamlet's fault. Oh, Ophelia, why did it have to be you? I mean, Dad was a little bit grumpy, and I, that kind of makes sense, but you were just fine. Duh. We haven't Let me done. Just stay here with you. We haven't done dig the grave yet, boy. Wait your turn. There's no cutting the line here. Fool! You disgrace her. I will dig forty thousand miles to be with her. I'll make forty pounds of goat cheese to bury with me with her. I loved her. That's a little weird. So, I was thinking to myself, self. This expedition I'm about to go on seems mighty suspicious. So I took the liberty of checking the president's text. <laughs> and what I found was a message to the, to the president of Hershey's to kill the Hammett. So I just did a little switching there and switch it to Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. So they'll be eating poison kisses fairly soon. Ah, oh, nice. Very clever of you. I'm glad you made it back safely. Hey, look, isn't that that weird little secretary of your uncle's? What's his name, like Ozzy or something? Hello, good sirs. I am Osric. I came with a message for Hamlet. The king has bet an entire Twix-sized candy bar on Hamlet winning a duel with Laertes. Well, why would he want that? I don't know. He just told me to deliver the message. That's quite the offer. I think I'm, I think I'll go for it. I don't know. I don't feel good about this. Are you sure you really want to risk your safety over one Twix bar? I do have a present-sized problem. So king size candy bar could do me some good. I'll go. Alright, let's do it then. Hey, right, ready? Here we go. Yeah. I fell off, Kaylin. <laughs> Are you ready, my son? Yes, but first I must apologize to ladies. Wait, what? I'm sorry for the other day, and I know you love your sister. I loved her too, and I just wanted to tell you that I just don't want you to be so sad about her death, because I know she wouldn't want you to be. Oh, okay. Well, now let's kill each other. Can do. Go, Hamlet! Go, Hamlet! Go, Laertes! Hamlet! Because I'm just that skilled! Go, Hamlet! Go, Hamlet! Oh no, I'm good. Okay, I'll drink it. Oh crap. No, no, no. Please, no, no, no. Ah, you got me now. 
Ah, now we're both gonna die! What? Ugh. Ugh. Claudius made me do it. What? That is Hamlet! But you can't die! Have them make an epic movie about me. But it's on YouTube. I will. This is pretty much the crappiest story ever. What the heck happened here? I think some extremely sadistic person decided to write us into a play in which everyone died except for leaving us two still alive. Wow, that's pretty depressing. Can I be king for some random reason? Sure. Why not? I'll go with it. Darn you, William. Darn you. Yeah.